Okay, let me ask you guys a question. How many times have you guys ran up these steps? You know, multiple times a day to hatch the best egg. The best egg right now happens to be this one right here. But we're talking about this huge pet right here. How many of you guys sit here for hours on end trying to hatch this pet and you still don't have a huge? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's probably quite a few of you. Let's talk about this for a second. There's been multiple YouTubers and I'm talking tons of YouTubers out there with so many Robux and tons of money to spare that still have a hard time hatching those huge pets. And I'm talking like five 5,000% for 24 hours straight, and they still cannot hatch a huge pet. So how in the world is a Roblox player such as yourself supposed to get a huge from the last egg if those YouTubers are not doing it themselves? Well, everybody, you know what? I think I might have a solution to all of that. Now, I've got quite a few huges on my team. However, none of them have been hatched from the best egg in this game. You're probably thinking to yourself, but Red, I've seen you hatch a ton of pets with so much luck. I cannot believe that you haven't hatched a pet from the best egg. Well, let me explain something to you folks real quick. Hang on, let's just go ahead and head over to the egg machine here and let's go ahead and do this. So I haven't even bought the last couple eggs. Let's buy that one. We're going to buy that one, buy that one, and we'll go ahead and buy... Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it was that many... It's six million gems? Holy smokes, bros. And I haven't even claimed all this yet? Oh my god. Okay, hang on. Let's just claim this real quick. Hang on. All right, here we go. Boom, 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 and boom. We got a lucky egg six from that, but guess what? It doesn't really matter. Okay, 2.54 for three more eggs. Let's go ahead and buy that. This is gonna be very important, folks, especially if we're trying to hatch from the best egg in the game. Okay, now that I'm eight million gems poor, let's talk about this. And wait a minute, I have 666 uh, items in here? That's not the creepiest number. How does that even happen? Let's go ahead and just click on this so that's not there anymore. Okay, so I did some data mining and basically what that means is I did a little bit of research into the game's number system on how things actually calculate in this game. There's probably a few of you guys in the comment section that know what I'm about to say, but for those of you that don't, here's the, here's the deal. So check this out. The very top egg right here. So let's explain a few things. So obviously, if you guys want to get all these pets, it requires luck to do it. And it is unfortunate that the game doesn't actually give you percentages on all of these different game passes. That would be nice, but hey, listen, it is what it is. With lucky, it's about 300%, and then ultra lucky, I think is like 600% more luck, which is 900% luck with both of these game passes. So that is that is already insane, right? But like I said, this video is about actually hatching huge pets from the egg. So check this out. To get these pets right, here actually has nothing to do with luck and that's surprising because obviously luck means anything from the best egg in the game right but actually hatching a huge is totally different than actually having luck to hatch any of these pets luck refers to getting golds rainbows and shinies of these pets here and don't get me wrong every week you definitely want to hatch the best new pet for that particular week so that way you can grind better if you guys go to your achievements and scroll all the way down to the bottom there's one called blinding light hatch 2,000 shiny pets and you guys get a free shiny hunter which actually sells for about a million Million to about a million point three depending on who you're buying it from but if you scroll up a little bit if you guys open 750,000 eggs you guys get a free huge hunter and this book is probably the most important book in the entire game I've seen this go from 2 million gems all the way to 5 million gems in literally probably three to four days once everybody starts figuring this out so this is probably the most important book in the game and you guys get one for free as long as you guys open 750,000 eggs and here's another thing some of you guys may not know about check this out let's go and head down here let's just pretend we're gonna grind this first area right here so let's pretend that we got some pets and they're trying to farm some stuff right and let's say you guys want to grind diamonds for a specific amount of time so obviously you're gonna go to here you're gonna open up your enchants you're gonna go to your diamonds you're like well let's just go ahead and equip as many diamond books as I possibly can and that's gonna crush it right according to the numbers doesn't actually make the most sense because after a certain amount of percentage of diamond breakables or whatever you start to lose your value on each book now I don't know the exact percentage number and every single book has a different value associated with it but for example this one says 40 percent and I think the magic number is around 150 to 200 percent from breakables and here's what's funny about pet simulator 99 so check this out that rule doesn't apply when it comes to hatching eggs so check this out if you guys want to try to get this pet right here and you guys are going to grind for 24 hours or whatever it is you guys are going to do there's a lot of ways you guys can do this so check this out the most effective approach is actually not having any luck books whatsoever you want to focus on getting the huge hunter and i'm not saying do all eight of these as huge hunters depending on what you guys have for 
premium enchantment, whatever. But I would say you probably want to do, I would say probably five or six huge hunters and then fill it up with a couple of shiny hunters as well. Which means I probably need to grab three more huge hunter books because the huge hunter book increases hatching active huges by 25%. So if you add six of those bad boys, you'd be looking at roughly 150% huge chance. And then of course you guys got your shiny hunter, which is another 120% chance to see if it's actually a shiny. And I hate saying this because I really don't like to tell people to spend Robux, but if you guys are going to spend Robux, you guys are probably going to want to grab the huge hunter game pass if you guys are serious about hatching huge pets because this right here on top of the books is going to give you guys the maximum chance to get yourself a huge pet on top of that everybody if you guys log into the game 12 hours before it used to update i mean it's only updating every couple of weeks now but essentially they have a huge party every time which is three times huge chance 12 hours they do six times huge chance three hours before and they do 12 times huge chance one hour before i mean it used to update so we got to check on see what time that actually is but if you guys log in an hour before with all huge books and the huge hunter game pass I mean, that's got to be the highest possible chance you guys can get to get an actual active huge. And your next question is, how in the world am I supposed to do that? A YouTuber telling us to spend diamonds and Robux and, and money in order to do this? How in the world am I supposed to do that as just a regular free-to-play player? Don't worry, bro, because this next part's about you. All right, so check this out. You guys are going to need diamonds to complete what needs to be done. And not just some diamonds. You guys are going to need a lot of diamonds, especially if we're trying to grab a whole bunch of huge hunter books and, and shiny hunter books and all that kind of stuff. Because uh, look at this. If we go into here, each book's going to cost roughly between four and five mil for a huge hunter. And you guys can find shinies from about one to 1.4, depending on who you're buying it from in the, in the trading plaza. And how in the world are you going to do that, you might ask? Well, everybody, it all comes down to grinding the last area. And I'm going to tell you guys, you guys do not have to have an entire team of huge pets. I've done it with an alt. I've done it with another alt. You guys do not have to have huge pets to grind the last area. And let's go ahead and unequip everything. Every single huge pet I have just to kind of show you guys what in the world I'm talking about here. Come on, get out of here. Come on, get out. Go, go. All right, we'll leave this one happy rock right here, okay? So this huge pet right here is doing roughly 1.06 trillion damage per hit. And don't get me wrong, that's really, really good. But let's go and unequip him real fast. And let's go ahead and grab, let's just grab this guy, okay? We're going to grab this exclusive. This guy is doing 668 billion per hit which is obviously less than a huge. However, this guy here is about nine times less expensive than a huge. And it's only doing about half as much damage, which is not terrible. But watch this, let's unequip this guy and let's go ahead and equip the shiny version of a 95 percenter. Watch this. So 668, but this guy's doing 936 billion. That is roughly 50% more damage, even though it's a 95 percenter. So if we got this one right here in Inferno Dominus, this should be doing the exact same damage. Now, if this guy was a rainbow shiny, it'd be doing another 300 billion damage. So that would pretty much be exactly the same as a huge pet. And this dude is a lot less expensive. Absolutely go for these ones. If you can find the rainbow versions of these, absolutely go for those because you'll be pretty much doing the exact same damage as you would with a huge and this is obvious and i'm sure all of you guys already know this but guys it really only comes down to the best pet for that particular week and this week it happens to be this imp it's doing 893 so as long as you're carrying the best pet you guys possibly can for the week i mean honestly all your exclusives are always going to be that good every single time right so let's go and equip only exclusives okay let's do this we're not going to have one single huge equip there we go we got a whole bunch of these guys boom boom I got 10 of these apparently. Boom, boom. Let's go and equip those other pets as well. No huges, but just the uh, the pets that are down here. So let's grab you. You could be on the team. We'll grab a bunch of these. And then we'll grab all these guys as well. Come on, keep going. And these are just pets you can grab from just the normal egg. All right, so there we go. We're maxed out. 81 pets. Let's see how fast we can grind this last area. Let's give it a second here. And you know what else I forgot? The reason I was wondering why we're not actually breaking this fast enough. We're not really rocking the uh, the enchantments that we probably should. So let's go ahead and make sure we have... Uh, I like to do criticals. That's one of my favorites. Strong pets. Let's just do one of those. Treasure hunter. That's already good. We'll do a fortune book. And then we definitely have to do a magnet, which I don't know why they haven't upgraded this yet, but that's all right. And let's go ahead and do one more strong pet. So I got two criticals, one fortune, 
a treasure hunter, two strong pets, and a speed book. Let's see how fast these guys can clear this area. All right, that is more like it. We are clearing this area no problem, even though there is not a single huge on this team. A person can clear the last area no problem as long as you guys are just focusing that best pet for that particular week. A huge is great, everybody. Don't get me wrong. You guys are going to get more damage out of it. However, they are also... 10 times more expensive than these guys I'm running right here. And plus, you guys could probably still do this without any exclusives whatsoever, and you guys just focus on the best pet. So it, it would be, what, a bunch of these uh, broomstick corgis. So if you guys had a ton of these guys and a bunch of these, you guys could smash this area without a single huge pet on your team. Because listen, you're going to need a bunch of coins if you guys are going to hatch for a long time, and you guys are going to need those huge hunter books if you're going to want to get active huges. So you need to focus on getting enough gems to go buy at least five of these bad boys and then a, a, you know a few shiny hunters as well just to kind of up your chances for that. And here's another thing that a lot of people don't think about. Because the game only lets you hold 500 of these emerald bars, you are going to have to come back here every so often so you guys can refill those and you guys can hatch more pets. But if you guys do it with an alt account and give an alt account all of your magnet flags, then you guys could do this pretty much infinitely and you don't have to worry about it. A lot of people don't know that the magnet flight actually collects for you while you're not in the area. And while you guys do this, you guys can install a program called tiny task and allow your alt account to install the magnet flag for you every five minutes so you never actually run out of money so you can pretty much hatch infinitely and let's just hatch a couple of times and see if we can lose a little bit of money here okay there we go so let's go ahead and step away now check this out over here we are still at 500,000 emerald bars even though we just hatched a whole bunch of pets you guys can also if you're trying to do this really fast position the e and the buy button right above each other like this there we go and then turn on an auto clicker as fast as you can that way, you guys can hatch a little bit faster. I mean, it doesn't save you a bunch of time, but at least it shaves off a couple of seconds here and there. That way, you guys are always grinding out. Oh, look at this. There's like a glitch happening in the top right of the screen. <laughs> all, the, all the gems and everything is still going. It looks like I'm still grinding. That's awesome. But anyway, you guys get the idea. So you guys can install that kind of stuff. That way, you guys are always hatching, and you guys give yourself the maximum option to get yourself a huge pet. So anyways, everybody, I hope that helps you hatch your first huge pet, and hopefully there's some stuff in this video that you guys found out that you might not have known about before. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you so much. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button if you guys have not already, and I'll see you in the next one.